There's one. Little guy off the bottom. Ooh, killer bite right there, y'all. Hey, is that your black pickup truck back there? Yeah. The police are over there. Really? Yep. Uh, just fishing the canal. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of canal fishing. We all know that canal fishing this time of year is absolutely brutal. The canal system has not been flowing for quite some time, been a couple months, but I think that we're gonna be able to get on a couple fish today. A little goodie bag from Copper State Marine and Tackle. One simple technique. That is all you need. You may not catch a lot of fish. Pond fishing is a lot better this time of year, but this one simple technique will get you a couple bites in the canal system. So without further ado, let's get out there and let's go get them. All right guys, so when it comes to the gear, we're gonna be using the Akuma Cero seven foot three medium heavy bait casting rod. This thing is absolutely wicked. Typically $99 and right now on akumafishingusa.com, these are for sale for $47. Great rod and man, you can catch a ton of fish on this thing. And I'll tell you, it's a really fun rod to fish with and for the price, you really can't beat it. We also have the Akuma Epixer bait casting reel and we got 14 pound fluorocarbon on here. But without further ado, we are primarily here for the Rapala Crush City Custom Baits. You can pick these up over at Copper State Marine and Tackle. We got the Mare. We got the Tennessee Shad Color. I think that this Tennessee Shad Color is going to absolutely smack it in this canal system because it is so clear. You want to match a hatch and these match those little tilapia perfectly. Three inches, all you need, get out there and go smack them. And then we got the Mega Bass Jig Heads, one eighth ounce, size three hook. So a perfect pairing for these uh, Crush City mares. Great thing about this too, this kind of fishing, very simplistic. You don't need a whole lot. You need some jig heads, you need some paddle tails to go out and get some of these bass. And like I said in the intro, we're probably gonna have a little bit of a difficult time getting on fish today. You cannot expect to come out to the canal systems this time of year and absolutely smoke them like you can in spring, summer, fall, etc. It is uh, really, really tough, really tough to get on fish. But um, you know, if you got the right bait, right time of year, got a little bit of overcast, which is gonna help as well, you typically can pull a couple. We're gonna be using a super simple knot, just a basic Palomar knot, nothing special. My go-to knot, I pretty much use it for absolutely everything. I never have any sort of issues when it comes to break-offs or anything like that. My only recommendation is that when you do a Palomar knot, make sure that that loop stays on top because I have noticed that if the loop doesn't land on top and make that knot super tight and crisp, if it kind of goes underneath, when you set the hook, that line will actually dig into your line and that is one way that this knot will break. It'll just snap it just purely from the hook set. Make those super long casts and just slow roll it. I mean, typically in spring, summer, you can reel about this quick, but this time of year in the canal system, you have to agonizingly slow roll it. Make sure that bait is pretty much almost touching bottom at all times any sort of structure try to clack it off of there create a little bit of water disturbance a little bit of noise down there get the fish attracted i wish i had another gopro just so that i could put it underneath the water and show you guys how freaking awesome this thing looks now right around here is where we should start getting bites not gonna be chaotic or anything but we should start getting bites i mean you can see the water is a lot more dingy the further up that we go kind of as i suspected but it's even a little more dingier than I even thought. Take your time, normally, you know, if it's prime fishing, you would get bit right away. Don't be afraid to make two, three, four casts in the same area before moving on, because odds are, you know, there could be a fish there. It's just not moving. It doesn't, it doesn't want to eat, but you can force them to eat. You can get that bait in front of them multiple times and essentially make them mad to where they'll turn and they'll hit it. Ooh, killer bite right there, y'all. Get on up. That's a good fish too, y'all. That is a good fish. He smacked it. Look at that. Super cold bass. Look how he choked that freaking bait. That little mayor from Crush City. Copper State Marine and Tackle right there, y'all. That is a wicked fish. This fish isn't gonna live though, most likely, because it looks like he's got some line and a hook coming out of his little butthole. So hopefully he can get that out without a, too much damage occurring to his body, but I don't know. I don't think he's gonna do too well once 
That thing really has to start pushing out. Man, he smacked that, y'all. Just slow rolling it, agonizingly slow. And then he just crushed that thing like it was freaking fall time. When this thing's dropping, there's no action to it. It just kind of falls in like circles, kind of like the uh, Six Sense Panorama in a sense. There's no movement, but it looks so lifelike. It truly looks like an injured or dying bayfish as it's sinking. And then once you get a retrieve in, it sits up perfectly and has a perfect tight wobble to it, which is what you want for this time of year. You don't want a crazy action. You don't want a lot of thumping or anything. You want to keep it very simple, very light thump and a slight mellow wobble. And I mean, this bait's got it. That was a freaking biter, y'all. Oh my gosh, I feel bad. I ripped this dude so hard, but man, he hit it like he was a tank. I mean, he crushed it. Look how they're down in this. Look at that crushed city. Freaking mayor down the goalie. Oh my goodness. Y'all, they are freaking chowing down. Oh man, tail in his gut. Man, he hit that so hard, y'all. This little bugger, look how beautiful he is. Freaking gnarly coloration, super cold, aggressive fish. Man. <laughs> Y'all, that was insane. I feel real bad. I mean, I swung hard on that little dude. Man, that was freaking awesome, y'all. That was so sick. Here, let's, let's slip this off. Y'all, we had another one just hit right there oh my gosh let's see let's see oh my gosh right as it was rolling up freaking hit it let's put it in this big opening maybe there's a little chunk of roux hanging out oh my goodness i swung the wrong way if i swung up i would have pinned that guy but because i swung to the right i pulled it right away from him Dang it. Sucker starting to clear up again, y'all. So we'll see if the fish will start orienting up here because it's deeper and clear, or if they're staying over in that area where it's a little bit murkier and, uh, you know, still pretty good depth. A lot more clear over here. Not really digging it, y'all. Not liking it. There's one. Little guy off the bottom. Slow rolling that. Just ridiculously slow. Y'all just barely freaking nipping them up top. And check that out. Nothing big. That first one was a really good quality fish, but uh, these guys are the ones nipping right now. Man, I felt that little tick on the bottom. That was crazy. All I did there was retrieve it off the main wall, let it sink, super slow retrieval, and then just kind of paused it, and on that pause, he hit. All right, y'all, so, so far, not too bad. We have five or six bites, a total of three fish. Not too shabby if you ask me. You know, we've walked a total of about a mile, mile and a half, so a little bit far for three fish, but hey, it's winter time. You gotta find them, you gotta hunt them down, and uh, we got three. First one was good. The other two, you know, they were dinks, but anytime you can uh, come on out and get on a few fish, you can't complain. So, not too shabby. We got a mile and a half to walk back. Hopefully, we can get three more. Stay tuned, enjoy, and let's go get them. Oh, oh, that's a fish. That's a little guy right there. Y'all, that thing was just sitting on the bottom. And then finally, once I got the backlash out, retrieved, he was on. Perfect hooks at roof of the mouth. Nothing big today, but hey, feisty little aggressive fish, not too shabby. Hey, is that your black pickup truck back there? Yeah. The police are over there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Well, that's funny, y'all. I wonder who called the cops. I parked up on the on the rock area. Are you through? Yep. Is there a here? Uh, just fishing the canal. Okay. Why is it parked here? 
I've always parked here. Ever since I was 16, I've never been bothered. This is trespassing. I got no issue with it. Oh, no, 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 I know. That's, That's why I'm just not, not going to give you like, yeah. a ticket or anything. Yeah, no, I'm just okay. let you know to probably find never, somewhere else. Never park here. <laughs> All right. Because honestly, I was going to give you a call, and if you wouldn't have called, it probably would have gotten towed. Yeah, fair and enough. I don't, I don't want that to happen next time, anytime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, definitely. Fair enough. All right. Cool. Yeah, sorry All about right. that. No, you're yeah, good. I'll be out of here in like five minutes if that's cool. No, you're good. Cool, thank you, man. Happy, Have a good one. Happy early birthday. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm really surprised that there's nothing up in here because there's typically always a little dink up in here. Even though this section is fished all the time, it's typically still good enough to get you a fish. We're gonna skedaddle on now because. I told him just five more minutes and he was like, all right, cool. So time to head on out. Thanks guys. Have a good one. All right, y'all. So that last little situation was a little bit weird. I mean, I've been parking there for 11 years. No one's ever bothered me. I've had Chandler PD, Mesa PD, ADOT, SRP. I've had all these vehicles pass me the last 11 years and no one's bothered me up until today. But it's not a big deal. We'll find somewhere else to park. And, you know, that's why we got legs so that we can use them, move around and not a big deal but besides that the fishing today wasn't great but it also wasn't unbearable you know we went out we got a couple fish we had a total of seven bites we got four fish up it was fun i did want to get on a moving bite which is why we're using the mare by crush city and i'll tell you what that little paddle tail is freaking gnarly it looks so good in the water it sinks almost like a sanko with a nice little wobble it is 100 a deadly bait and i think it'll work really well on an a rig to be honest but besides that, if you guys are wanting to go out to the canal system and get on some fish, I do recommend using small paddle tails, drag them super slow if you're looking for a moving bite. If you're looking for a slower bite, I mean, always go over to a Senko and drag it on the bottom, never go wrong with that, or throw a Ned Rig drop shot. You gotta go ultra finesse. Also find the murky water, the clear water it is extremely hard to pull the bass out of because they spot you before you can even get the bait to them. So find the murky water, fish finesse, and fish slow. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and shoot, we will see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.